A highly controversial but exploited form of robotics will be utilized on the battlefield. It is already established that these types of robots will be rapidly improved for the end user. But who is the end user, and what are their intentions? Furthermore, are these machines beneficial to society? In the end, the next battleground may just be robots fighting each other. But I have covered this topic before, and in my opinion, the most dangerous form of AI are the ones that we are using right now, which is based on reaction and limited memory. But in the future, AI may understand emotional intelligence. So these types of machines may be more sophisticated and a little bit less lenient towards human intention. It's a very interesting and debatable topic. But for now, let's do an overview of some of the most impressive military machines that exist right now. We begin with the Doggo. A deceptive but deadly robot is intended for anti-terror or hostage missions. Compatible with a lightweight Glock or a P320, the RC vehicle can attack targets up to 18 feet away. According to specs, the Doggo can fire 5 rounds in 2 seconds, since recoil does not affect the machine. But lighter versions can also be outfitted with Dazzlers or even Pepper Spray. Thankfully, this one is fully controlled by a human, and the operator has a full 360 degree view due to 6 video cameras. Ultimately, the machine is kind of vulnerable alone, but it could be very ominous in groups. At number 6, the QUGV. Well, we all knew this was going to happen. Ghost Robotics has been working on UGVs for some time. They can transverse rough terrain and work 24-7 thanks to their thermal cameras. The company's latest variant apparently carries a 6.5 Creedmoor, but it's unclear whether or not this robot will be fully automated or if a human would arm and control the rifle. I hope it's the latter. The company is also planning other retrofits, including a multiple drone. So it's a very interesting development to follow. We get to number 5, which is the Assault Breacher. An automated vehicle is essentially an M1 Abrams tank with upgraded armor and a dozer blade. These robotic vehicles are very useful to clear out minefields, or breach into battlefields which are heavily defended. The army envisions fielding 6 per brigade, 4 with mine plows and then 2 with combat blades. Each vehicle would then be operated by one person in a nearby command center. One of the main challenges with these types of machines is to overcome jamming or physical breakdowns, but the enemy will likely need an armament of anti-tank weapons which brings us to the next position. At number 4, the Nemo Drone. From flamethrowers to laser beams, we have seen pretty much everything outfitted on a multicopter. Nemo has added to this list with their new anti-tank drone which is outfitted with an M72 rocket launcher. Weighing around 5 pounds, the M72 can fire a 62mm rocket at a range of around 200 meters. It has very little recoil, so the drone is unaffected unless it's too close to the blast radius. Luckily, this particular multicopter is too heavy to be considered a commercial drone in most countries, so naturally it's only authorized for military use. Moving on, we get to the impressive Type X unmanned ground vehicle. This particular robot is intended to support mechanized units and act as a wingman to battle tanks. The vehicle is operated through a combination of augmented artificial intelligence and remote system operators. It features a track design with armor protection which increases its cross-country performance and durability. The tank is very versatile and can hit a maximum speed of 50 miles per hour. It also weighs around 12 tons so it can be transported by the C-130 or KC-390 aircraft. It can feature many different types of weapons, including 50mm auto cannon turrets. Combined with the Assault Breacher, we are looking at battlefronts which are highly automated and remote operated. Hatch number 2, the Modular Advanced Armed Robotic System. This unmanned ground vehicle is made for reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition missions. Equipped with multiple safety features, Mars is operational only when receiving coded instructions from its operator. The machine has limitations and can only travel 1,000 meters away from its controller. But it does have seven cameras for driving, situational awareness, and weapons that can operate in daytime or thermal modes. Once again, this robot can be highly modified, and its weapons range from anything from laser dazzlers to grenade launchers. UAVs have rapidly progressed over the last decade, and the elusive RQ-180 will be one of the most complex platforms out there. It is believed that the RQ-180 will work as a high-flying network machine, 
and an information gateway, possibly as a central AI system, for coordinated attack drones. This would give each aircraft an overall view of the battle space, thus increasing awareness of the network. Furthermore, the 180 would send all data back to the command center. Advances in machine learning will eventually lead the RQ-180 to be an adaptive platform, which could dictate the best strategic attack or surveillance position without human intervention. Ultimately, in the end, these new machines will perform entire missions and only be guided by human intent. But I would like to know what you think about all these different types of robots. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.